the theater is the greatest source of the human imagination available. I was a student of Bob Pristine at the Yale Drama School. I just remember being struck by how eloquent Bob was and is about theater, about our first love. The work that was being done at the Yale Rep, it felt revolutionary. Bob's theater was part of national culture. The buzz around Boston that he was coming to town to start a theater was big buzz. He was and is a very, very passionate guy. He believed wholeheartedly in what he was doing and he went all in. I think that was his image. I think his image was to be provocative. Robert Grustein has said that theater must free the audience's imagination. Thank you. All those who make up that rich Jewish fresco. Bob is a Borscht Belt comedian. And together, we'll celebrate the victory of Queen Esther over Haman Matui. <laughs> He's a Jew with jokes. He really is. Bob gave us this format that allowed us to fail and succeed. I thought he was very handsome, really sweet, although I'd heard that he was somebody that people were afraid of because of his reviews. And I met him and I thought, this pussycat? Yes, darling. Yes. <laughs> and always saying yes, darling. One of the great pleasures in life is watching Doreen and Bob together. This is July, but I'm going to read a Valentine's Day poem to my sweet Valentine, because with her, it's always Valentine's Day. Whether he was meeting with a new young playwright, whether he was coming home from rehearsal at two in the morning, he loved what he did with so much passion. He could see what wasn't totally evident. There was the appetite to give young, new talent the opportunity to create something original. I mean, there's nobody in this country, ever, in the world of theater, who has the scope of Robert Houston. Nobody. I get the feeling that Bob could go on forever and never run out of the pleasures that make up his life. My day job now is writing poetry. <laughs>